Hello everybody and welcome to Let's Get Creative. I'm Heidi and what today we're going to be doing is looking at fractals and we're going to be making artwork inspired by fractals. So what is a fractal you may ask? I'm going to show you some photos to give you an idea what fractals are. Fractals are very interesting. They're found in both nature and math and they have inspired many artists in their own artwork, biologists in their research, mathematicians in their research, and today they're inspiring our artwork that we're creating. I'm gonna show you a series of drawings that will help you understand this concept a little bit more. It will just be fun to do together. So what you're gonna need for this is a black marker, and a white piece of paper. Are you ready to get started? Let's take a look at fractals. Fractals are found everywhere in nature and math. Fractals are patterns that repeat forever. They are created by repeating a simple process over and over again. You see the inside of the shell, how there's a shape all the way in the middle, in the center of it, and it repeats over and over again. It starts out small in the center, but that same shape, you see those lines, it repeats over and over again. And as it repeats, it gets larger and larger, but it's still the same shape over and over again. That's what makes it a fractal. You see this octopus tentacle? Again, just like the shell, it starts small in the center and spirals out, still with the same pattern repeated over and over again. And same with this rock formation. You see in the center, it has a similar shape that repeats. You see how the leaves on this fern repeat over and over again. Fractals are found in tree branches. If you were to take one part of a branch from a tree, you would see that it's very similar to the larger branches because tree branches are fractal in nature. They, their growth repeats over and over again in similar ways. Just like tree branches, we have a similar structure inside our bodies. Here's an example of one of those. This is an example of lungs. You see that there are these branch-like formations and those are branches that repeat over and over again in similar ways to tree branches. You see how they start larger and then as you move out towards the edges smaller and smaller but you see the same kind of branch formation is repeated over and over again in math simple shapes or patterns are repeated over and over again to create fractals you see in the bottom row how a triangle by repeating over and over again makes a fractal it starts off with a solid triangle on the left. At the very end, you get a series, many, many different triangles all in that triangle. And that's an example of fractals, a repeating shape that creates a pattern. And you'll see in the row above it, there is an example of a square. It repeats over and over again to create fractals. Now the artwork we're about to do is inspired by fractals. All right, so what you're gonna need for this is a piece of paper and black marker. Now we will be doing six different types of drawings. So if you do want to have a total of six pieces of white paper, that's fine. So you can be prepared for each one of these exercises. If not, you can choose which one you want to follow. Or you can try creating them all on one piece of paper. That is your choice.
So do you have fun learning about fractals and making artwork inspired by them? I hope that you'll use fractals to inspire more artwork and to inspire yourself as you're taking a walk, maybe around your block, in the park, at the beach, inspiring you to kind of take a look at the world around you and see if you can find any more fractals, fractals that maybe I did not talk about or show you. I hope you had a great time today. I surely did. And I look forward to seeing you again soon. Until next time, happy making everybody and have a great day. Bye. Thank you for watching our virtual Purple Museums broadcast. If you're enjoying this content, please consider making a donation to support our efforts. Our broadcasts are every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Stay in the loop by joining our email list by visiting www.cdm.org. Sign up today.